today, you must tattoo one of the most sensitive areas of the body. The spine. I know that spot. Place hurts. Yes, it does. Getting your spine tattooed is insanely painful. There's a big fear that these people are not gonna be able to sit for this. The muscles and vertebrae in the back are very close to the surface of the skin. You must use finesse to work effectively with the contours of the back and help your canvas through what could be a very painful tattoo. Finesse is very important when you're tattooing a spine because you gotta know when to give and take because if their spine protrudes, you can really hammer right into their bone. Every canvas wants the same subject matter as one other canvas. That means you'll all be going head to head with one other artist. The judges will directly compare your work in critique. One of you will win and one of you will lose. Let's meet your canvases. What are you looking to do? Empire State Building on my back. <laughs> what are you looking to do? Empire State Building down my spine. What? I don't want to do an Empire State Building down somebody's spine. A thousand windows. That thing is so freaking big. We only have six hours. Polynesian with a hawk on the top. That's cool. DNA helix down my spine. I've done that, it looks like The spine has contours and concaves. DNA strands are full of straight lines. Nobody wants that tattoo. Canvases. One by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Which one's that? Empire, Empire State Building. Jason. Josh. No. Give me the Empire State Building. I'm gonna do it amazing. This dude is huge. This building is huge. Me as an artist, I'm huge. Jason should be terrified. What are these again? DNA Helix. I don't like that. Clean Rock One. <laughs> Chris. Clean is definitely one of the top guys in this competition. And the DNA strand is one of the most intricate designs. Eric definitely screwed me over. I see what you did here. My canvas wants a double helix DNA strand in full color. How big are you looking to do it? Down the spine. Down the whole spine? Yeah. There's no way I'm going to finish that within six hours. If I do a full spine, by the time I get to here, I'm going to have to rush. Do you know how big you want to go with this? Well, I have my last name across my back, so whatever you can get done. My canvas already has existing tattoos on his back. We're going to put it underneath your name then, basically, yep. right? That only leaves me like six inches of space to put this big-ass giant monument on his upper spine. The amount of detail is the issue. You just want to do, like, the top part. Yeah, I don't want it to look like I just have some random building on my back. This is the last thing I need when I'm going head-to-head -head with Josh. Your job is to sit still, relax, enjoy the ride. Let's do it. Ready to rock it out. Last time I competed, the judges made the wrong decision. I shouldn't have been eliminated, and I'm here to make sure that doesn't happen again. What's up, Jace? My canvas's back has such a deep concave in it, there's no way I'm tattooing in there. What's going on with the top of that building? If I were to put this building any lower, it was going to look really weird. So we decided to put it up here where it's a little bit more flat. And just shoot that needle right up through the top of his other tattoo. No other choice I had. I am stressed out to the max over this tattoo. Five hours remaining. Uh... Hang in there. What's going on? You nervous? No. Are you? <laughs> going head to head with Chris is a joke. I could tattoo blindfolded and still beat this guy. Oh, kids these days, man. Three hours to go, everybody. Three more hours. We're getting it's just all these windows, man. Holy. <laughs> My canvas at this point is in so much pain. This dude is freaking out. That means we gotta stop. You know what that is? You start shaking like that? That means dermal shock. This is insane that this is happening again. All right. Hey, I'm sorry. I can't control it. Twitching. You know when you're ready. You can do this. Oh. If my canvas taps out on me in the middle of this tattoo, I'm totally screwed. Five. Four, three, two, one. That's it, time is up. Machine's down, no more tattooing. Today, you had to show finesse by tattooing on a difficult body part, the spine. Mark, how'd you feel about being teamed up against Aaron? Well, I know he's really a good tattoo artist, so I know it's gonna be a good challenge. 
He did show finesse by taking the old image of the sun and incorporating the light rays to the bird. It wasn't senseless background. It actually had meaning behind it. My main problem with the tattoo is the tail feathers have that separation from the body. If you're going to leave that halo gap, it should be equidistant all the way around. This is your chance to be precise, and that would have showed a little more finesse. Aaron. Very clean. I feel like there's a lot of finesse in this. The little repetitive shapes that come down with the shading that come off of them are very nice. The black is solid. The lines are crisp. I think you did a great job making this thing look equally smooth all across. You've had some rough critiques recently. At least you're back firing with a clean outline. I'm getting into stuff that I'm enjoying, and I'm having a good time doing it. Much better for you. Welcome back. Thank you. Who had the better tattoo, Aaron or Mark? Just the fact that Aaron's outline is more crisp, I think it shows a little more finesse. I'm going with Aaron. I'm going to go with Aaron as well. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Clean, you went head to head against Chris. This is a really sharp, vibrant, dynamic tattoo, man. The color contrast is great. The depth that you were able to achieve with that dark shading and the way the spirals go underneath each other really makes it stand apart. Thank you. Lining things up in the center of anybody's spine is very tough, and by doing this stylized version of it, you set yourself up never to fail. Choices are what win this competition, and you're making good ones. Chris. Well, Chris, there's a lot of uneven lines in this tattoo. All these little bars that go across are not parallel, and there's a lot of inconsistencies. The bottom spiral is just out of whack. It's like, what is going on there? I uh, just wanted to make the bottom half look like it was breaking apart. But if you would have had those things actually be broken and have some of these bars falling off at the bottom, then somebody would be able to say it's falling apart. But instead, it just looks like you messed it up in the design. Between Clean and Chris, who had the better tattoo? Clean's the obvious choice. Clean. Clean. Congratulations. Jason, you went up against Josh. As far as the Empire State Building itself goes, when you have this close of an image of it, those lines have to be exactly parallel in order to really create that structure. And at the top of this thing, before you get to that needle, those lines are a little bit wobbly. Putting the needle through the letter was a bad idea. His name has got to be more important to him than this needle, and you should not change the shape of that letter. That was not my intentions. My intentions were to not blow up that building so damn big. Any which way your intentions were, it changed the eye to anything else but that. You can't change the shape of somebody's letter, their tattoo, well, regardless of what it is. can't restructure building either, Chris. If you would have put that thing any lower with the concave of his back, then your building would have went like that. I don't think there's that many tattooers in the building that would have run a needle through a letter. And everybody behind you is shaking their head no. Josh. You were dealt the same hand as Jason was. What was your plan here? He's a huge dude, and because of the size of his back and because of the concave, I had to do a lot of straightening of lines while I was tattooing. Obviously, these long lines on this curvature of the body, you're going to have some warped areas. But overall, it's very clean. Technically, it's a strong tattoo. It really does have a striking image. It's bold. This was the hardest tattoo of the day by far. I think you did a good job for what you were given. Time to poll the judges between Josh and Jason. It's a clear-cut decision here. I mean, one of them stands out and looks strong and technically precise, and the other one has a lot of problems in it. Go with Josh. I'm gonna go with Josh as well. Josh. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Today, you must create a schematic tattoo. A what? What is that? What the f is a schematic tattoo? Does this look like a guy that went to college? I don't even know what that means. I've done it before. A schematic is just basically breaking an object down into its parts. It's like a blueprint. Shit. When I think of the word schematic, I think of a diagram. Make sure what fits together and how it assembles is true to the way that it would fit together. That's the test here. It will be a lot of line work, and it needs to stay legible. It needs to look like what it's supposed to look like. I still don't understand. Let's meet your canvases. West, you won the flash challenge. You now have the power to assign the human canvases. You ready, guys? Yeah. Go for it. We want to make the Midwest uncomfortable and let Jason know that we still hate him. A uh, biological and robotic spine on my spine. What? What the hell? The spine is a tough spot to tattoo. It hurts a lot. I don't want it. Canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. What is this one? This one is the spine. 
Jason? Yep. Sweet. <laughs> she wants black and green pops of color. That's easy. No matter who has skull pick and what they give me, I'm going to do a good tattoo, period. They thought I was going to change the placement, but I was like, nope. Well, that's good, because I wasn't going to change the placement. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind tattooing the spine. You know, the West, they just panic easy. There's like three people on West that didn't feel like did all that good. Raul was hiding some mistakes. Bob had the blowouts. Yeah. And Arlene, for having skull pig, did not do near as well as they should have today. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Today, you are being tested on legibility with schematic tattoos. Let's see how you did. Jason. You leave the vertebrae itself stark and all of the dark background with the gears pushed forward. So straight, so clean. We always harp on creativity. This is it. You got the big field of black, and then you got some pink. I'm not dazzled. I mean, it's it's line work day. And on line work what day, you don't want to crowd it What we're looking for today is a schematic, a and what I don't see is a schematic. So he hates it, we love it. <laughs> For this elimination tattoo, you must put your fundamentals to the test by tattooing a clock. Oh, no. A clock? No. I hate clocks. Damn. There's always small, tight detail. There's perfect straight lines for the hands, concentric circles. It's just a technical nightmare. Let's meet your canvases. What are you looking to get done? A color illustrative clock with mechanisms and gears in the steampunk style okay. on my spine. Spines suck. You're going to be all symmetrical and shit. It's going to be such a pain in the ass. OK, canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. TJ. Steampunk clock on the middle of this lady's back. Good job, Tony. I'm Turk. You me. Oh, look, what's TJ Poole doing? Team Clean did a great job at targeting who they needed to target. It's very artsy. Just a lot of tiny this is the day you just say, yes, I know how to apply a tattoo correctly. The steampunk clock is very busy. It's kind of hard to even identify that this is even a clock. What is that stuff right there? Well, it has like a tree and stuff, yeah, kind of like earthy kind of coming yeah. going through it. I'm very Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Today, you had to prove your fundamentals tattooing a clock. TJ. It's just challenge, man. Make me better, Chris. I need to hear it. Fundamentally, the design is a problem. What's weird is like it's just some weird, scary, odd shape. I like it. It's clock day. Where's the clock? Yeah, man. I can't follow, and I like weird stuff. I can't make out a tree. I can't make out a clock. It's just a weird piece. 